What's up, people? Rob Barrington here, and another weekly challenge with the robots is here. We're going to play a 12 board match point uh, best hand tournament, right? So, we're going to get an instant score, we're going to see what's doing. So, a little different than what we've been doing. I promise we'll, we'll circle back to all of that. I'm having fun kind of changing it up a bit, and I had a real fun time with the live version of uh, the final event of our Bridge Olympics last week. So, I, I will definitely do that again. That was a lot of fun, uh, but here we are back to where we can see our score right away and have a little bit uh, more of an idea of how we're doing. 12 boards to see if we can be victorious in the first board. Third chair, we have a beautiful 16 count with queen fit the spades. Easy choice for us here. We're just going to open one spade. Obviously, we can't open a no trump. We have a small singleton, so we're just going to get in here with this and see what happens. One no trump, pass, pass back to us. What an interesting uh, problem we have here. Uh, one no trump should just be a natural 15 to 18, and that's exactly what the robot should have here. Balanced, and the only difference between this and an opening bid is it's one level higher, 18 on the high end. So it's 15 to 18 balance. And also, you have to have a stopper in the suit that I bid, which was spades. Um, interesting choice. We have a very nice hand here. In fact, we probably have a round a mirror image of what our opponent is looking at. Um, and we have... You know, we have some pretty good defense. The only thing I'm worried about is if uh, if we pass and they just have a long diamond suit, they're just going to take a bunch of tricks. But here, my other problem could be if I bid two clubs, let's say, which is the only bid I would consider here. I don't run a balance with a double. In fact, I think that would probably be more 18, 19-ish. I don't know. Okay, it's just take out. Um, so, yeah, I don't want a double. I don't necessarily want to bid two clubs because here's the worst. You bid two clubs and partner just takes a preference for spades. Like let's say they have five diamonds and two spades. They might just bypass that and bid two spades. Um, if they bid two diamonds, it's not going to be great either. Uh, and now we just might be in a problem spot with the spades behind us and 16 opposite 16, right? They, they have 15 or 16 to our left. That's what we know because it's the best hand tournament. So um, there's not a lot of points left out there. I'm going to let this go and hope we're going to beat this or just take a better score than uh, we're going to get by bidding. I do think most of the field would bid. Um, I wish uh, I wish this was a live class. We could actually poll the audience and get an idea. Um, I think most of the field would bid two clubs or double. I'm just going to take the, the road less traveled here and, and pass and see if maybe we can uh, get it in the play here. All right, nine of spades by partner. That's, I mean, that's good news, bad news, I suppose. I, I think that pinpoints that left-hand opponent has specifically ace, king, jack of spades. They may have four spades, um, but here it's not really going to make it. To, actually, we, we can find out what they have, uh, but here I'm going to cover just because if they do have ace, king, jack, fourth, I want don't I only want them to take three tricks. All right, and let's take a moment, by the way. We're, we're speeding through this, or I'm speeding through this. I'm not going to include you in my speed here. Uh, 16 here. Let's give this player, I don't know, let's give him 16, right? That's 32. And the dummy had uh, nothing originally in spades, right? But they have a five count here. There we go, All right? So 16, 16, 32, 37. Uh, at least 36. So partner has at most four points, maybe uh yeah, exactly. Partner has nothing, basically. Um, so we're, we're going to try to uh, pick out maybe the three or four points partner may have over there. Or four or five points. Definitely nothing in clubs, right? Uh, okay, great. Uh, I guess they could have the uh, Queen of Hearts over there. Or Jack something something, right? Uh, here... I don't think we're developing anything in spades. Partner led the nine of spades, right? So the nine of spades is top of nothing. <laughs> what the heck? Is that really what's happening here? Oh, my goodness. That's terrible for us. Now, <laughs> uh, now it looks like we may have set up the heart suit, unless partner just has queen jack type or whatever. We're still setting up a trick over there. All right, there's my ace of clubs. And, yeah, this is not... Not the way we wanted it to go. And here they're they're just communicating in spades now. <laughs> Look at that. They didn't need the six of spades over there. They had like a deep finesse possibilities. Uh, sorry. There we go. I'm glad we didn't bid. Uh, but what did the bidders get? Or, or did they just take it? Yeah, I guess the bidders did okay because they get the opponents to two hearts. <laughs> so so uh, let me show you what's happening on this. We're starting off not in the best spot, but that's okay. We have lots of boards left. 
But here we go. Um, if you bid, you get the opponents to bail out to two hearts, and that is not as good for them as one no trump is. Um, and if you don't, they play one no trump. And looks like we had some company here. Um, is there anything we can do on this hand? Uh, I mean, yes, obviously. Uh, but the spade lead just kills it right there. Yeah, if partner just leads a diamond, or honestly, <laughs> I don't know, it's hard for partner. They kind of have to pick anything else, and we're just at least in slightly better shape. Uh, we got our three hearts. We got our two clubs. Uh, and it looks like we might be able to get an extra trick if they just don't, uh, if we just don't give up the spade position right away. Uh, but this was kind of the normal result. One no trump making two, and then some people held them to two, and some people beat two hearts. And those are the bidders there. So, I, yeah, I guess we were right, right? Most of the field, most of the field was bidding. Only four others were just passing the one no trump there. So now we kind of know where we stand for the rest of time here. Uh, I'm okay with this. Let's keep dancing. I'm sure I could have maybe done better defensively uh, at some point, but the spade lead's hard to recover from after that uh, start there. Uh, 5, 9, 12, 13, boom. Well, let's double, folks. This is an interesting one. In best hand tournaments, you're, you are you want to take action for sure, especially um, when you have a, a bid that makes some sense. So here we're kind of flat. We don't love this. But certainly we have a, a uh, an opening hand and three cards in all the emerald suits. And now we're we're ready to just chill for a second, right? We we did find a spade fit, but remember we're not we're not going to be showing anything yet, right? We can make a bid later if we're balancing. We want to just let partner know we made our takeout double, and that's what we have here. Um, so now it goes three diamonds. Uh, okay, invitational three spades right here. Looking, looking for some sort of no trump. Let's see if they find it. Nope, they get to five diamonds. Ooh, whose birthday is it? We want to rip this sucker? This is a support double, right? So we're taking two heart tricks, and if we get one spade, that's rip a doodle do. Let's go. Don't bid, partner. Yeah, it's, I as I double, I'm like, oh my god, don't bid, partner. <laughs> so here we might get a heart rough. No, no heart rough. Dummy has four hearts. Uh, so we're gonna take our two hearts, and then we're just gonna see if we can sneak that ace of spades in. And maybe we sneak the king of spades in for down deuce. <laughs> oh, the impossible dream. Amazing. A robot's got a little too rambunctious on this board. Maybe we scoop up. I mean, I guess this is an auction that we're going to see at most of the other tables. It's just, uh, are we whacking the diamond bid? Or are they, if we did raise spades right away, does that change the outcome as well? That's possible. Uh, I'm gonna pitch a spade here. Nothing's really gonna matter at this point, folks. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, let's scoop up plus three hundo. Wow, hundred percent. What would we do that everyone else didn't do? Is it just the double? Uh, yeah. Well, there's five diamonds down one, and here it is. If you bid two spades, you kind of. You cramp the auction a little bit, and you buy it for three spades. Look at partner's hand. Amazing, right? King, ten, fifth of spades, <laughs> void and diamonds. That is a hand that, you know, they like hearing the double. They kind of know they have a spade fit, but, again, they're not very strong. <laughs> but if we do bid two spades, that kicks them into, into gear to get bid three spades. Letting them bid five diamonds was pretty good for us. There's another one that just kind of let it go. Uh, what would this have shown, by the way? I'm curious. I guess this is just a raise for the robots. Yeah. Yeah, because one spade bid was a free bid here. Uh, and and at this point, the robot's going to kind of be normal like we would be here where this isn't necessarily a ton of extra values because this was a free call from partner. They have some values here. Uh, the pass on this one ended up hooking us up with 100%, so we'll take that. Uh, in seventh place after two boards, 57.1, and yo, look at this end. Wow. Very, very strong. Um, some people might look at this and say, hey, should I open two clubs? Because I have like one, two, three losers, maybe four losers. And the answer is no. When you're this shaped, when you're this shapely, excuse me, you're, it, it's, it's never going to go, I mean, watch me prove this wrong on this hand, but it's almost never possible to go one heart all float. You look at you have 11 cards in the red suits. The opponents have a lot of cards in the other suits or partner has something to say, right? So here you don't have to worry about not having another bid and you'll make your strong response next. If you, if you're at a level you're able to do so with All right, here, um, I'm going to bid three diamonds cause I, now I certainly don't want partner to pass. And then I can 
bid four hearts afterwards and partners should kind of get the idea here. And they better not bid or they better bid a slam. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm kind of dialing in this hand pretty well. And it's it's a it's a misfit, but it's a misfit that we're going to be able to handle. OK, uh, because of just the strength of our hand and the fact that partner has a beautiful hand to get rid of some losers with over there. So first things first, ace of clubs, we're going to win that uh, king of clubs. I guess we'll throw a diamond. And now let's do some trumping in the shorthand, folks. This is always what we're looking for. Shortness in a side suit, diamonds. And then relative shortness in the trump suit. Oh, yeah. Every time I get the trump of diamond here, plus one in the trick ledger. So watch this. Ace of diamonds. If I can get my mouse under control here. Diamond. Trump a doodle do. Right? Spade back to my hand. Singleton ace. That's always a good play. Diamond again. And then, oh, okay. Is that bad? Eh, it's not the best, but it's not terrible, folks. That's a that's a queen of hearts that we don't have to lose in the trump suit. They're going to draw trump, and all we have left is that diamond loser. Um, I mean, if you're playing a, around the kitchen table, maybe people are having a few cocktails, maybe you run hearts here and hope they throw away diamonds. They're asleep or they're a little tipsy. The robots don't do that stuff, so we can just claim three tricks and know that they would held, have held on to that. 78.6, nice. All right, so we're trending in a good direction after a bad first board. Let's just take a look at our first three results from day one of this challenge. And 14,178. Okay, you know, not too bad. Uh, could have made different choices on, on both of these first boards, right? I could have bid two spades here to change the outcome. Probably still would have been okay score-wise, but 100 is 100. We like that. Um, and then this one, we sh certainly could have bid again here. And now the opponents find a weird two-hard contract, which might have been better for our score. We'll take it. Right? I'll see you for boards four, five, and six next. And we'll see if we can trend towards that number one spot. Uh, not too bad after the first three. I'll see you for the next ones.